Good morning. We are slowly making our way into the port of Sitka, S-I-T-K-A. It'll be our first uh, port of call. Yesterday we didn't actually stop at a port, we just sailed up the fjord. Um, I'm looking forward to, to getting off the boat and seeing a little bit of the town. I've booked a cultural tour, which will by bus and then we're visiting a bird of prey rehabilitation center which and a little bit of forest stuff a mixture like a hodgepodge of things in the town uh, which should be interesting the town itself was the original russian capital of alaska and it was the place where the agreement handing or selling alaska to the united states was signed so some history, historical import, importance as well. Unfortunately, the weather is still not great, but hey, at least it's not raining. Although I did say that yesterday, and then it rained a little bit, so we'll see. In between the islands, they're not too deep. Um, they can get pretty deep. It gets up to like 300, 400, 500 feet. Um, but right through this channel, it's probably... The coastline here is very rugged, but very beautiful. One of these islands in the distance here is actually an active volcano. Pretty, yeah? The clouds. Oops, the clouds here are pretty low today. We still get a good idea of the greenery. That's our bus. Very nice. In the Raptor. Whoops. Doesn't work so well because of the mesh. Raptor Rehabilitation Center. I see one, two, three, four birds in here. There we go. If I move away a little bit, you can see them better. Placed on the endangered species list and they nearly went extinct, with fewer than 500 breeding pair in the lower 48 states. Luckily, due to restoration efforts such as our own, legislation like the Endangered Species Act, and most importantly, the banning of the pesticide known as DDT, their numbers have made a huge comeback. There are now over 400,000 bald eagles found throughout North America, and they were taken off the... So if you're wondering about that wingspan, it is about seven feet. Uh, when she was younger, Spirit here would have had about an eight foot wingspan. She's showing you. Oh, she smiled. Did you see that? She turned to the better side and smiled. You want him to be there, really? Yeah. He's getting there. This one is definitely, uh, Oh, hello, Abel. Oh, so the next stop for today is the Sitka Cultural Center, which totem pole and a nature walk. And I believe that once that inside, you'll be able to see them actually, an artist actually making totem pole, which is very cool. But I think first I'm going to go on a little walk. Yes, I did. I did not hit the wrong button. I was trying to get you off of the. I had you on speaker because I was doing one sitting there. Apparently, these totem poles are. Obviously handcore, but it can take years to make. The town of Vitka, well the whole area actually, is a tropical 
it's not tropical, it's a rainforest. They get about 250 centimeters of rain a year. And using this area, that's right what you might think about Alaska, this particular area doesn't get below freezing much. They do have snow, but it only lasts a day or two because it gets washed away. <laughs> like them is sauteed in butter. Bit of an explanation from our guide who's a native of Or you can steam them like uh, edible sprout. plants. I am not a Brussels sprout fan, so I don't like them steamed either. But, but <laughs> lead by example, so you do it a few times so your children will do it. The river here is very low at the moment, but apparently in the season, you can see four of the five different types of salmon uh, heading upstream in order to spawn. Upstream is that way and salmon will always return to where they hatched when the time comes to lay their eggs and die or spawn and die. Um, depending on which type of salmon it takes two to four years. They return two to four years after they're born quick view downstream that's a collapsed tree I don't remember the name of the tree but it has a very shallow root system so it's easily toppled the explanation is over now it's just time for a bit of a walk along this river not too far and then we're going to check out the visitor center here comparing this to what I did last year there's tremendous convenience and also downside to doing these organized trips. On the first, on one hand, it's convenient. I don't have to worry or think about anything. On the other hand, it's there's no flexibility. You've got to do what the group is doing. So, uh, anyway, because I mean, this place, for example. There are much longer hikes that I would love to do, but I've got to make the bus. Anyway, I don't regret choosing the convenience of an organized trip. So, I'm seeing a lot. I have limited time and I think this maximizes the use of time, so it's all good. Inside the exhibit center, they have some truly incredible artifacts, paintings, etc. The light's a little dim, but I will do the best I can. Incredibly intricate artwork. This canoe must be about, I don't know, 10 meters long carved out of a single tree trunk. Totem poles also carved out of one single piece of wood. Each one can take a year or more to make. Our guide was telling us that at low tide, which it is now, you can sustain yourself with what you find off the beach here. The kelp, mussels, various other things. Um, sounds good to me, but I think I prefer the lunch that they're going to serve on the ship. So I will pass on the beach lunch. But it is really pretty here, despite the fact that it's another overcast day. Got the islands, houses in the distance there. Really, really su su uh, beautiful. But the big surprise for me for today was learning that pretty much not much in the way of snow here. That it might snow a couple of times during the winter, but after a day or two it gets like washed away. And the temperature doesn't go below freezing much. So, you can think of worse places to live climate-wise. Of course, in summer, it doesn't get much above 13, 14 Celsius. Oh well. It's 
don't come here if you want to do sun tanning. So, the last part of the tour was a display of native Alaskan dancing, which is not my cup of tea. So I used the time to get a splitter or double adapter so that I don't have to juggle my electrical appliances and phone and computer and all that in iPad or tablet, should I say, in the room. And I also managed to get a haircut, which I'd been wanting to do for a while. And now I'm just going to use the time to walk around the town, which is pretty quaint and get some maybe get some clam chowder which this place is famous for here's the animal for today it looks like a i don't know a hound or something like that any type of dog for to dinner tonight i'm starting with bread instead of butter i asked for olive oil and balsamic vinegar which they're giving me and i'm just going to dip it into that I'm also having a grilled broccoli soup, which I must say I've never had before, but it looks good. It's really nice. The I'm eating a little bit later, and the dining room is not very busy, so it's less noisy. I'm not a huge fan of noise coming from every direction, so this is great. And I have the same table that I had last night, which has a view out to sea, which is awesome. Also to start with, I'm having a Caesar salad. Um, as you can see, the portions here are not big, but that's just fine because instead of one big portion, I actually chose two starters. And at the recommendation of my waiter, two mains. So for my main course, I've again ordered two dishes because the servings are small. The first one is the grilled tilapia with roast potatoes, which I won't eat, and the little bits of broccoli. And the second is grilled tondeloin, again with the uh, potatoes and um, broccoli and onions and beans, stir fried. Looks really good. That was a great day to end off, that was a great dinner, sorry, to end off a great day. Uh, the dinner really was good. Uh, everything was cooked to perfection. The meat was tender, the fish was not overcooked, the vegetables were firm, it was really great. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the visit to Sitka and uh, I'm looking forward to visiting Juneau, the capital of um, Alaska tomorrow. So that's it for today. That's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.